Good evening, everyone. So let's take our favorite black and white, the Oreo, and let's <laughs> squeeze it. Now, as human beings, we all have our soft spots and our hard spots emotionally. So does this Oreo physically. So as I press this Oreo, what happens is the soft, creamy layer in the middle starts deforming, and it oozes out. And I press it even more and even harder. There comes a point when the cream cannot deform anymore. And all the pressure from my fingers is transferred to the biscuit on top and to the bottom. And as I press it, it breaks. Ooh, that was a hard one. Now, you must be wondering, why is this guy pressing Oreos on stage, right? <laughs> exactly. So when we talk about structural materials, we read every day that this material is stronger than steel, and this is the metal of the future. But seriously, steel is still one of the cheapest metals to produce. So how about atomically designing steel, just like the Oreo, to have these hard phases and these soft phases? So when we pull the steel, just like the cream, the soft phase deforms, and we can engineer this in such a way so that it gets harder, and then later on, all the strain is taken up by this hard phase surrounding the soft phase. Interesting. So the first thing is, why make steel stronger, right? Now, global warming was a concept created by the Chinese <laughs> to hamper US production was a statement by Donald Trump. But seriously, you go through the NASA website and you get to know that the level of carbon dioxide is increasing everywhere. You know, the weather patterns and humidity and heat is going crazy all over the world. The ice caps are melting and the sea level is rising and so on and so forth. Thus, if you take a steel component like the crash structure, of your everyday car that you use to work and make it even stronger and even more ductile, you use less material to get the same job done. So things can be even lighter, and we move towards lightweight concepts. So the next time you take an Oreo and you split it apart, or you dip it in milk, or you lick it, or whatever you do, <laughs> think about the soft cream in the middle and the hard biscuit, and how this concept of strain partitioning can be used in designing steel. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>